Now today might not be a Friday, but we will be getting freaky. Just like Chris Brown and Lil Dicky switched positions in life. These players in today's videos will be switching overalls. Quick disclaimer, long snappers do not count in this video. Otherwise, every team would just have just insane tight ends and, and it'll be kind of boring. So Dalvin Cook goes from a 95 overall X factor to a 52 overall. Bruh. Meanwhile, the Vikings now have a 95 overall quarterback in Sean Mannion. Derrick Henry's down to a 51 overall. Now the Titans might be passing a lot more because Logan Woodside's a 97. Texans lose an elite left tackle and Larry Tunsil, he's down to a 59. But all they did was shift the overall to a different position on the O-line and Jimmy Morrissey the center is now an 89. We made sure to also switch the development of these players so TJ Watt is down to a normal and a 57 overall. Meanwhile the tight end Kevin Rader is now a 96 overall X fact yes he's an actual tight end not a long snapper I made sure to look it up he had some receptions. The Seahawks lose a linebacker slash safety Jamal Adams he's down to a 51 but now they have their best center since Max Unger Dakota Shepley 91 overall superstar. The Saints defense is taking a hit the honey badgers down to a 56 but ethan greenidge replaces teron armstead who they lost in the offseason the 96 overall x factor is going to be on the other side of ryan ramchek the ravens lose one of the best tight ends in the league andrews is down to a 62 and as if they needed more help in the secondary our darius washington now a 94 overall superstar no team has taken a greater loss than the rams so far aaron donald 99 overall to a 52 but at least they're going to help out Matt Stafford in this offense. They get a 99 overall center, Coleman Shelton. The Raiders lose a 99 overall receiver in Devontae. He's down to a 54. But they gain an elite left tackle, Jackson Barton, 99 overall. One of the longest tenured safeties that I've ever seen. Devin McCourty finally calls it quits. He's down to a 57 overall. Meanwhile, the Patriots O-line gets even better. Daryl Williams is now a 90 and a superstar. The Panthers lose out on 97 overall Christian McCaffrey, but now they have an MVP caliber quarterback in PJ Walker, 97 overall X Factor. Rodgers is gonna lose out on one of the best left tackles in the league, David Bakhtiari, but he's gonna gain an elite running back behind him, 95 overall Patrick Taylor with abilities. This is now one of the best running back rooms in the entire league. Just as the Lions were starting to make some progress, they lose their best lineman best player Frank Ragnow but it doesn't matter because they replace him with another center Ryan McCullum the Jets lose Quinn and Williams one of the best young D tackles in the league but the legend of Mike White is now an 86 overall star he's the new starter in New York another lineman bites the dust in Jacksonville Brandon Scherf is now a 57 and CJ Beathard is now arguably the best quarterback in Jaguars history 87 overall superstar say quads is no longer an elite running back he's down to a 55 and good things happen when the giants have an elite linebacker man i'm telling you look at lt now the question is can 86 overall justin hilliard follow in those footsteps that's what we're gonna find out the niners no longer have the best left tackle in the league trent williams is down to a 55 but they have one of the best quarterbacks 98 overall nate sudfeld leading the way for them the washington d line takes a massive hit jonathan allen's down to a 50 but they're line improves John Toth is now a 93 overall AJ Terrell's back to being CB number one Casey Hayward is a 52 now and another tight end Parker Hess is now a 90 overall so him and Cal Pitts probably the best tight end duo in the league you might have to move Pitts to wide receiver just to get him on the field more am I the only one that doesn't think that beard does Jason Kelsey justice like what is that that's nothing compared to what he has in real life meanwhile the guy's only a 50 now but now you can argue the Eagles have one of the most complete rosters in the league. They have an elite quarterback, Reed's in that 91 overall. Imagine losing the fastest player in the league, man. That's what the Dolphins just did. Tyreek's a 57. But at least Tua's going to get much needed help at the O-line position. Larnell Coleman is now a 96. 
Speaking of O-line, the Cowboys get a lot weaker at that spot. 55 overall, Zach Martin. But Will Greer, the quarterback, is now a 98, so the Cowboys could make some noise in this experiment. The Colts get weaker at the left guard position. Quentin Nelson's a 56. And this is a spot they didn't really need help at. 95 overall, Deion Jackson now starting over Jonathan Taylor. Kelsey is down to a 52 overall. They lose an elite tight end in Kansas City, but they gain a 99 overall quarterback, Shane Bushell. All that did was just hinder Mahomes' progress and take away an elite target. So we'll see how this works out for them. The Chargers lose Khalil Mack. He's down to a 55, but one of the best names in football becomes a 94. Amen. Auburn B. Amiga. It's as if Nuke Hopkins is suspended for the entire year in this experiment he's down to a 55 won't be seeing any playing time but the goat trace mcsorley is now a 97 and the cardinals are looking good tb12 more like tb54 that's his new overall but the bucks are not gonna miss a step ryan griffin is here to prove that tom brady is a system quarterback one of the best pass rushes in the league is no longer miles garrett's is 60 overall but the bald-headed beast himself josh dobbs is now a 99 overall, the best quarterback in Browns history, not named Otto Graham. Justin Simmons, the free safety is down to a 55. And again, another team that didn't really need help at the quarterback position is gonna get exactly that. Josh Johnson's up to a 92. The Bills lose one of the best wide receivers in the league. Diggs is down to a 60. And they have a new starter at quarterback, Matt Barkley, 96 overall. The Bengals lose Joe Mixon, he's down to a 54. And Joe Cool's gonna have to sit on the bench and watch Brandon Allen, 93 overall do his thing the bears lose roquan smith he's now 50 but now nathan peterman is about to shock the world he's an 89 and i can't wait to see his stats at the end of the season safe to say we shook up the league quite a bit in this experiment this is a fun one highly requested man I i'm curious to see what these results are going to be at the end of the season a lot of these teams do not like this experiment like the chiefs the broncos the bills there's a ton of teams that could have done without it but some teams got a lot better man leave your predictions which team's going to benefit the most who's going to meet in the super bowl let's go find out ravens end up with the one seed in the afc then you have the raiders broncos chiefs jaguars dolphins and bills the buccaneers don't miss a step but ryan griffin at quarterback the saints cowboys vikings niners packers and cardinals make it i'm telling you man that system has a lot to do with it no I'll just play it ryan griffin still had an incredible season Derek carr Herbert Wishell. I think I'm saying that right. Hopefully Tua in the top five. Where's my man Peterman? I, I gotta see what he was able to do. Nathan, where you at? Okay, there we go. 3,775 yards, 20 touchdowns, 12 interceptions. Not bad. Look at Will Greer. Jesus Christ. There's some crazy ratios. He was second behind Carr for touchdowns. Winston was third. And you have Ryan Griffin, the stud. Josh Johnson, great ratio. Tua threw a lot of interceptions. I'm not gonna lie to you. Chubb let everyone in rushing man Deion Jackson ended up top three he did his thing in Indianapolis could that diminish Jonathan Taylor's perception around the league look at Patrick Taylor on the Packers he did his thing for them man who else were there any other running backs that we improved I'm not sure if there were I think those were the only two I don't think there was any wide receivers that we improved but here's a look at their stats I know there were a couple tight ends so I'm trying to find some right here we have Darren Waller who led all tight ends you have Gasicki Parker Hess on the Falcons okay him and Pitts were a nice duo combined for over 1600 yards 10 touchdowns kevin raider on the steelers had a nice season 74 7 8 6 and five touchdowns and then going team by team I, i'm curious as to what these quarterbacks did this is just a faster look this is a great time to like the video if you haven't already you are you just sitting here you know you're just staring at it you might as well you know helps out the algorithm okay if you guys want to see more videos that's how you do it. anyways i'm not seeing terrible stats man like i said will greer great season reese and net decent could have been better you know sudfeld okay I was expecting better. You were like a 98. And you only threw 23 touchdowns with Debo and Kittle at your disposal. Mike White, what happened? 28 to 18. Jesus. So maybe overalls are not the end all be all. You still need to have that clutch gene. You need some traits. You know what I'm saying? You need some intangibles. You need that gunslinger throw animation. Okay, maybe not, but still, I think it would go a long way, man. Lamar's stats were down. Uh, that's shocking. I thought you would do a lot better than that. Can you pick it? 
Davis Mills, Logan Woodside, the new starter, and then Sean Mannion. So not terrible. Amen led his team in tackling, had a lot of tackles for a loss. Four sacks, man, he did his thing. On the Giants, Justin Hilliard led his team in tackling. 11 tackles for a loss, three sacks and a pick. On the Ravens, look at our Darius Washington, man. A half sack, four pass deflections, 69 tackles. And I think that was it for the defensive players. So let's look at the yearly awards. We have Derek Carr winning the MVP, man. You love to see it. So just a different name for once. A lot of guys that we improved end up in the top 10. So that's also dope. The MVP leads his team to a wild card win over the Bills. The Jags take care of the Chiefs. Broncos beat the Dolphins. The Cowboys beat the Cardinals. The Packers take care of the Vikings and the Niners squeak out a win over the Saints. Jesus Christ, the Broncos get shut out. Josh Johnson did not do his thing, okay? The Raiders keep winning. They're headed to the championship round. Meanwhile, the Packers and the Cowboys match up again in the NFC Championship. Hey, man, Father's Day just passed. Hopefully, if you're a Cowboys fan, you got Aaron Rodgers a nice gift. Hopefully, you said Happy Father's Day to him because he owns your franchise. Every time he plays you in the playoffs, he dominates. I'm sorry. It's just the facts. He's playing against the Raiders. We have a great one. The MVP versus the MVP in real life. This is going to be good. Late in the fourth quarter, Rodgers down five. Looking to see if he can get a game-winning touchdown drive. Aaron Jones still doing his thing. Last play before the two-minute warning. Imagine having Jones as your backup. Deion Jackson, 95 over as the starter, but Aaron Jones is going crazy. It's invaluable having a running back that's that good out of the backfield at receiving because you can just dump it off every time. A smart quarterback will get the ball to his best players as it hits off Batonian's face. Not a good look right there for uh, 85. Hey, but if I know Rodgers, I, I know he's going to go right back to him and, and try to help him. Okay, never mind. Lazard gets close to the first down, but he got to shake off that embarrassing play. Third and one. What I say? Oh, Tunyon back to back helmet bounces this time it results in an interception third and 12 if they get the first down the game is over let's see if jacobs can make something happen no kenny clark with the nice block shed no timeouts left for rogers and company he has to get a touchdown with less than 40 seconds in the game and he throws an interception that's gonna seal this one up and look at las vegas this proves that a little bit of o-line help can go a very long way man the raiders win the lombardi in this experiment thank you for watching watching to the end let me know any other great ideas you have for me man this was you guys this is i saw multiple people comment this one it was a very fun idea thank you for all the great ideas hopefully you subscribe if you're new around here man and i will see you guys on the next one